it's my huge pleasure to welcome you to this, uh, what is set to be a fantastic day together. In our church schools, those of us who are responsible for those, but indeed in any good community school, we need to pay as much attention to that inner work the developing of that inner person, which is both spiritual and moral and social and cultural. The Church of England uh, want to talk about this fundamental depth. They don't want to talk about the superficial or the shallowness um, that some people talk about uh, character. They want to talk about really the person inside. The imprint of character is unique in every person as integral to their unique creation by God. children to develop into? What characteristics, what attributes do we want them to have? Things like being adaptable, a decision maker, good team player, develop good relationships. But it also raises the question within our community and the communities that we serve of what does anybody want to see developing in our young people and actually what do we want to see developing in our communities? If the staff are not on board with working and looking at character education, how can we assume that our young people are looking at that as well? And it's one thing, isn't it, to see your mission statement and your vision on a piece of paper, and it's a different challenge, and, and literally another story altogether to make that a reality. And, and actually, how do you capture that? If they lose sight of who they are as unique individuals because they're just focusing on the academic, then actually it's not a very successful way, in my view, of doing things. I'm going to be more aware of myself as a model of good character in the classroom on a more daily basis. But what I heard this morning from the primary school particularly and the way that they were holding the school to account, their ethos group, that I'm definitely going to take away. What I will do differently is to start to really reflect on how we can engage and involve the community as effective stakeholders in building up a real sense of who we want our children to be. We want a country which is full of effective workers who are also empathetic neighbours and people of good judgement with wise decision making. We want citizens whose imaginative hinterland is matched by the energy and confidence with which they embrace change and growth. That's what we need. <laughs>